What's up guys? How are you doing? It is Philip Starrett here once again and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how you can launch Visual VM from the Eclipse IDE. So what is Visual VM? Why would you want to use Visual VM? Well Visual VM is one profiling tool in the market and basically it's a tool that allows you to launch a visual interface for viewing the detailed information about Java applications while they're executing in a Java virtual machine. So why would you want to do that? Why would you want to inspect your Java application running in a virtual machine? Well, maybe the Java application's not running properly. Maybe it has a memory leak. This will maybe point you in the right direction what's consuming all the memory. It'll show you what's processing time you're taking. It'll show you lots of information about the environment you're executing in. So all that good stuff, CPU memory, it'll allow you to drill down into classes, maybe look at hot methods and see which methods and which classes are being executed a lot. And also allow you to view a lot of detail about your threads. So if you want to see all that information, which you should if you're a professional and passionate Java developer, because you want to write the fastest applications and most efficient applications that you can, you want to get a profiler. So how do you set Visual VM up? Well, if you're using IntelliJ, it's very simple. I'll maybe create another tutorial. I'm actually an IntelliJ user myself. What I would do is just go and download the plugin and basically click OK, restart, and that's it done. But with Eclipse IDE, there's a little more setup. So I'm going to take you through that from scratch. So what you want to do is, if you have uh, JDK already installed, so that's Oracle's JDK, you want to go to this page, so Visual VM, GitHub I.O., IDE support and what you want to do is download the plugin so it's a small zip file go ahead and download that and then extract it to a folder so as you can see here I've actually went ahead and downloaded that prior to this tutorial and I've extracted it into this folder now once that's done what we then want to do is go to Eclipse and we'll close that out and I'm running my sample application here which is terrible and don't do this by the way this is just something I was experimenting with earlier and um, what you want to do is go to help and then you want to launch uh, install new software and then you want to click add and what we want to do here is add a local update site so what we're going to do is go and pass in the directory that we extracted the zip file to and add it as a repository so let's go ahead and do that. So you can pass in the file or the directory that you have. Click OK. Open that up. And you can then uh, click Next. And that's going to install the Visual VM Launcher feature. Click Next again. You want to read the license agreement and then click Finish. Okay, so what we want to do now is actually open up our settings. So go we'll open up preferences and then you want to scroll down to run slash debug and then launching and then visual VM configuration, you should see. Now you want to make sure that this is pointing to the visual VM executable. So that's going to be in your JDK bin folder and there's going to be a jvisualvm.exe. And also you want to make sure your JDK home is correct. Now, I had set these previously because I uninstalled Visual VM. So that's why you're seeing these. So a lot of different IDEs will not have this um, out of the box in there. And what will happen is you'll get a runtime exception when you try and launch your application. So click apply once you've entered them details and then click OK. So what you want to do now is go ahead and click run. And well, actually, I'm going to debug. So open up the debug configurations. And you'll see here in my app one, which is full performance, we have a launcher here. So before you didn't have these, and don't worry about these, I'm just messing about with uh, some VM arguments experimenting. But what you want to do is go ahead and click select other for the very first time, and it'll look like this. So what you want to do is use configuration specific and then choose the visual VM launcher. So go click, go ahead and click OK. And we are ready to roll here, so go ahead and click debug. And now this should launch Visual VM for us. So here we go. It's launching it up. And we pull it in. You can see now that we can see the Java applications that I'm running on my local computer here. So you'll see I'm running one config performance analysis.app, which is this one, and there's the process ID. So we can go ahead and actually have some 
analysis. This, this is live analysis of the application. And uh, we can see some threads, what's going on, uh, sampler, and we can start a profiler or whatnot. So that's how you get set up and start running Visual VM. I'm going to be making more tutorials on actually, you know, what you can do with Visual VM and how it's pretty cool and some cool features about it. And I'll also be creating some other profiling tutorials on other tools, such as uh, Java Mission Control, um, which is one that I really like, and uh, Java Flight Recording. And I think they are, the last two there are, are really, really good tools, but they're not free for production use. So I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon.